Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Chicago Trader checking in here for, I believe, the fourth video. Uh, this week, there should be, um, it should be on warrants, um, so the PDF to go along with it should be right under. It should be a Google link um, in the video section um, and in the library on the website. Uh, so I'll just jump kind of right into this with the uh, second uh, slide in the PDF or second page. Um, so before I get into some specific examples, um, warrants or sweeteners uh, in offerings. So you'll obviously see a lot of them have, uh, you know, X amount of shares are issued to, let's say, H.C. Wainwright. Um, and then there's also warrants attached on them. So they're considered sweeteners for a few reasons. Um, they provide some incentive for the underwriter. Um, they provide some incentive for the uh, company itself. 20 cent stock. Uh, it's an oil and gas company, complete turd. You know, you can pull up the daily chart. It's a $30 million company. Um, you know, I guess it doesn't look terrible there, but if you scroll back a couple years, you know, just completely, you know, it used to be $80 two years ago. So the first thing you can see, they're offering 31 million shares of common stock. Um, they're being sold to a institutional accredited investor. They're being sold at a price of 0.14. Also, you can come down here and concurrent private placement. They are also selling warrants to purchase 31 million shares. So, um, Boxel. So, if we can punch that one in, um, you can see this thing IPO'd a little over um, a year ago, I believe. Let's just uh, punch this in real quick on the chart. Yeah, so you can see right behind here, right back here is when it IPO'd, so call 18 months. Um, but anyway, going to the filing, <clears throat> excuse me, you can see, you know, that's all this stuff pre-IPO here before it was even trading. Um, it has the S1, so there's no S3. Excuse me. Um, you come to see if they have this effect here, and there's nothing. So the reason I wanted to show this one, um, you know, with the state of the government shutdown and the SEC effect, right? The SEC is not issuing effects on new ones. So how does a company like this survive if it's low on cash? It doesn't have a shelf, you know, an S1 or an S3. Um, you kind of, if I come here to the 10Q, you look at it and, you know, as of, uh, let's just call it October 1st, they had a million, 1.5 in cash. $1.5 